welcome ladies and gentlemen welcome 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 again to Jarvis forum please if you are joining this channel for your first time kindly do us a favor by clicking on the red subscription button and hit on the notification bell so as to get all our latest updates yes ladies and gentlemen we'll be taking you to the world of sport and of course we'll be telling you the games that took place today first of all this is your boy Javo the gold standard and shout out to big that please to all football lovers I say yeah mama Africa the continent is boiling as the continent's most popular sport in football which is the AFCON 2021 currently taking place in Cameroon is hitting the continent on all corner and we could feel the vibrations everywhere so definitely as the matches are sweet that is how it also has drama so let's go to some of the funny moments in the afcon especially the match of today <laughs> the matches of today we had two funny things that happened in matches of today but first of all let me just tell you we had three games today we saw ivory coast taking on equatorial guinea which ivory coast won by one goal to zero we saw Tunisia taking on Mali and we saw Gambia taking on Mauritania now the drama <laughs> let's start with the national anthem of uh, Gambia and Mauritania ladies and gentlemen this match took place in Limbe which is the southwest region of Cameroon and could you imagine <laughs> man don't talk over can you imagine that the national anthem of Mauritania was forgotten? I mean, what are the technicians doing in the pitch? Taking how many minutes the players were asked just to recite them without the uh, sound uh, accompany, uh, without it being accompanied with the sound? Did it mean that this technician forgot this, the, the, the anthem of Mauritania? Do they not have network connection in the stadium? Even if you are doubting the sound, for you just to, you know, Google search national anthem of Mauritania, it's there, you just play the audio and it sound. <laughs> what was really happening? But first of all, before we do that, <laughs> say drama plenty, watch this video. Yes, national anthem of Mauritania, okay. Yes, my country people. As soon as they see and so, no be the national anthem that to look at the players. The goalkeeper don't tap that one. He said, no, it's not our anthem. <laughs> the player I'm again. <laughs> he no still be not the anthem, my dear brothers and sisters. Confusion be devil fee. See how coach you look. I say coach pa. <laughs> Oh man, pa, player is saying, I wait to this. <laughs> you, can, you can see. Player is saying, I say, our anthem. <laughs> yes, there is really a problem, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Journalist. <laughs> they have to not to be impressed. Now say they forget <laughs> Mauritania for, 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 for warm up or they don't get that their anthem, not the future for the world. Mauritania, your anthems. <laughs> Your yeah, national anthem is not in the world's uh, rank of anthem. They can't find it on Google. Or what was there no connection in that fee? That is three seconds thing, my brothers. Players are waiting. See, you can see how many minutes it took. They are waiting. When I take when I we can see something where it happened today for Limbe for Cameroon. What? What a disgrace! Huh? When they show the world say African Cup of Nation, it's always going backward. This is why we show the world. It is announced again. <laughs> they announce me player and sing by themselves now. You don't pass them. <laughs> Sound so when I play a signal, they are mopo. Now, disgrace this. This is what African continent is showing to the world. 
Now, now, the media made a report we that Cameroon be the fault of this thing. Oh, now, calf. Oh, now, who them? The technician they work now from Cameroon. I don't want to believe they from Cameroon. Now, calf the same delegation will control this thing. Lovers of football on arrive for comment section. Tell me how on a see this matter. Now, really, which kind of matter this? Now, calf delegation they control the matches. Oh, Cameroonians they control them. Now, tell me for comment section. This is really terrible. Continue. A player I don't sing them. Oh, they are more finished. Let us sing. As soon as he's on a national anthem, lost my brother. They are still searching for the anthem. They cannot find it, my dear brother and sister. Coach, they all man confused. They talk say, "Is it that we are not found? We are not found in the world." Is it that we are not we don't they don't know us in the world or is that our anthem doesn't I beg you guys should help me to check if Mauritania anthem it's on internet just go go search it if it will come on the player don't like just sing an empire it's disgrace Asia Asia my brother <laughs> They just got on with it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a serious thing. The CAF delegation, everybody should make sure that this should not repeat itself in next matches. This is disgrace. When the world sees this, they will begin to tell us Africa is not well organized. How can a national anthem of a country be forgot eh, during a match? How can they find the national anthem that they cannot see? These things are supposed to be put in place. Sound, the sound engineer and the technicians that are on board. What are you, what are you people doing there? So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what happened with the match between uh, Mauritania and Gambia. Now, one of the the thing is now really thing for to say where or say where. Ah, oh, mama me. Please, please. Something needs to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, share me your own point of view. What do you think about this kind of situation that is portraying itself? Eh? What, what do you think about it? Just tell me. Tell me in, a, 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 in the comment section how you see this kind of disgrace. How can we handle this kind of disgrace? Because I don't want to feel like I'm in prison anymore. I got to have some fun. Okay. Now, after we've trashed this issue of national anthem of Mauritania not being played, over three, up to four minutes, they have been waiting. Eh? Four minutes of long wait, and the anthem of Mauritania could not be found. <laughs> we'll leave that one. Uh, we'll leave that one now. We don't finish with that one. The second place we are going to meet this other issue that happened between the march of Tunisia and Mali. I don't know if the referee be going to Nanku or if he, if, he, if he they under some kind of influence or na village people them or na what it happen where they are beat Jody Pai or Jody Pai on a pack today for fee so I don't understand. Maybe this referee this will be the first and his last match he has hand he will handle in this tournament. That is if justi uh, justifications are not really put in place if he doesn't justify his reasons why he will stop like that well we don't know maybe he's communicating with the delegation and they told him to stop the match at that time i don't know now question this is a question we are asking what really happened that at the 85th minute the referee had to stop the game <laughs> after that he realized he looked at his watch and he realized okay it was a mistake <laughs> There were some remissions, uh, agreements, and all that. And then later on, he started the game. Again, they continued the game. And it was at exactly 89 minutes, 57 uh, seconds, he blew the final whistle to stop the game again. This got a lot of Tunisian fans upset. And a lot of critics has come on this same game. Without not even waste of time that much, let's watch the highlights of what happened. Then after we will talk.
My country people are on a watch this match as it goes on. Okay. You can see. Yeah. That is the referee sounding the whistle. Look at the time on your screen. That's exactly 85 minutes. That was 85 minutes he closed the game. He closed the game at the 85 minutes. 85th minute of the game. He closed it. What really happened? Can you tell me what is happening? Is there a rule in the football game or a football match? Look, all the Tunisian team, the coach, and everybody was looking at the time. That this is not yet time. Why did you stop the game? Okay, this after the agreement, this is when. Look at the time. Exactly 80, 89 minutes, 57 seconds. He completely stopped the game again. After there was some remission. Can see the tension that was on the pitch. Can see. The tension on the pitch was boiling. The Tunisians are protesting. This is unfair to us. <laughs> no be drama with this. No be drama with this. What is this? What is happening in Afcon? Why? What are you showing the world? People watching all over the world. What is Africa doing there? What is happening? Mr. Refree. Are you under the influence of something or what? What is happening? It's, it was not easy, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the tension that was growing there. Look at the tension that was growing on the field. Mali 1, Tunisia 0. Ah, wow. I'm telling you, that is the referee man, Mr. Referee. So, when I don't take on ISSF, watch the, the match. Ladies and gentlemen, you have watched the game and see what happened. The referee consecutively he stopped twice. Yes, the referee stopped the game at the 85th minute, and after serious sanctioning serious talking after serious talking and remission then they got back into the pitch he realized his mistake he then got back to play the few five minutes that were remaining waiting for the extra time but it was just at 89 minutes 57 seconds that's three seconds to 90 minutes he stopped the game again the question is is this referee having a problem with the tunisian team is this referee having a personal problem? Because I can't get it. No, let's look at this thing. I want you to, to give me your own opinions on the comment section. Like those of you who are lovers of football and you know the rules, some of the rules and regulations of football, because I don't know that much. But tell me if there is any law a referee can stop. But according to my own, according to my own, a match is already 89 minutes, 57 seconds is not a big deal. That's already 90 minutes. There are some games where you don't have additional times. It's not necessary that they must give an extra time in a football game. Perhaps extra times are always given depending on the minutes that players sustain injury. There maybe there was a, a problem within the match. They had to stop to check on players' injury or something. Those are the times they are picking out to say that at the end of the day, okay, after 90 minutes, these people, these teams, what? A total of two minutes three minutes five minutes into the game they will give i don't think there is a law there must be a law stating that additional times or extra time must be awarded in every football match there are some matches that at exactly 90 minutes it ends yes so on this second time the referee blew the whistle the only thing i will blame him is he was early with three seconds he would have waited for the three seconds to apply 
at exactly 90 minutes, he stopped the match, but he did not. So what is the take on this? Because finally, the Tunisian team is saying they are filing for a complaint. They must complain to FIFA or the CAF. But it is also known that after the time they came back to the pitch, they said, okay, continue the last few seconds and minutes that were dying. The Mali team was there, but the Tunisian team refused to come after CAF has given the okay calf has had a seat on this matter and said okay go back and finish the game the tunisian team refused from going and from what i learned is if you refuse to complete a football match automatically you have been defeated by three goals to zero that is the law if i'm not making mistake those of you who do football to tell me so they are actually telling us now that tunisia will be penalized by three goals that they were beaten by mali three goes to nothing for refusing to complete because why will you protest and then after it is given that okay come and play the remaining minutes you are talking of then you refuse to come to the pitch the other team is there waiting for you so this whole drama has been boiling it has brought a lot of talk criticism everywhere they refree the level of the organization of cap or what, what is really happening please share me your own do you think the sanction that is levied on Tunisian team, they deserve it? Yes, they, I know they had the right to strike at the 85th minute. Yes, that was good. Okay, this was brought to remission and then they said play. The referee on his part did, but I mean, come on. So, wait till when I think, when I tell us, let us see what is uh, going to happen in this game. So, this are the whole Afghan drama that took place, really Wahala, <laughs> that took place today. Please, I believe this thing is not going to repeat itself in any other game. Yes. Africa, we are showing, we have to show to the world that this is the best tournament you can always get. But with things like this, we give room for them to criticize. And we cannot, we cannot say no. Say at the level of Africa proper organization, the referees are not professional, they are not trained. And all this. These are the things. When they deny winner for give referee at the level of World Cup, African referee, they say, you people are not professional. Look at what you are handling there. We cannot give you and we'll be thinking they are treating Africa bad. But nevertheless, some of these things we have to be very careful with. It. So share me your own thoughts. If the sanction on the Tunisian team is correct, if do you think they are going to play back this match all over again, do you think they are going to schedule a day in this competition now again for this match to be repeated or what do you think will be the final judgment in this oh they have already passed the judgment the match is completed and they are not going back to eat by penalizing the tunisian team i don't really know how this saga is going to be solved but all the same stay cool stay nice always be on javis forum so let's discuss these things i want to see your reactions about this issue on the comment section thank you very much for being there lovers of sport let's wait for the games tomorrow we are going back to group a cameroon will be taking on other teams for group a matches the second leg of group a matches will be playing tomorrow yes thank you guys very much for being there shout out to big Davis and to all of you we love you all bye bye